again. Today, as promised, I'm going to be doing some demos of the effects on the Blackstar ID Core 40 and probably the whole ID Core series. Today, I'm going to start off with the modulation effects. I'm going to run through them all, give you some playing examples, and tell you exactly what they do, and uh, we'll take it from there. So one of the first things you should do, set it to, like right now, I'm going to use the Super Crunch. It's my favorite for right now. And I'm going to have my guitar's volume around 8. Gain, 0. Volume right around three is good for bedroom. Anything more than this will get louder, but it's also gonna get more noisy. So right around here is probably your sweet spot. If you have to do it any louder than that, then your amp's probably not quite loud enough for that. For instance, this isn't quite loud enough for a drummer. So for most house stuff, it seems to be right there. On, off, on. With the tap, you can see how fast the pulse is for whatever we're going to do for modulations or delay. Four different modulations. Phaser it turns right there. That goes to flanger. This goes to chorus tremolo. Right now once you're in one the difference between this and this is different for everything. Sometimes it's more how much you hear the the effect. Sometimes it's range or something like that and this also can control it too. So for phaser, we'll put that right in the middle. We're going to put the level at 5, just to start off with. Let's see what this does. is the flanger. That's a little bit different than the phaser. We'll put that in the middle again as well and write that to start off with. Same chords. The same chords. It's a little bit different. Let's check this out. Phaser. Flanger. Put it all the way up, see what that sounds like. Not much different. Third one is chorus. Again, we'll start that in the middle. A little lower. Can't hear it too much. A little more prominent. Chorus is pretty subtle. Let's turn that up just before it, the edge there. This one has more of an effect for this when you change it. It's like very prominent. And if you put it all the way, to the, if you both put them hard right, it's very choppy. And you can play something off the, the beats.
those are some settings and sound samples for the ID Core Series modulation effects. Let me know what you thought, if I covered everything, if there's anything else I can cover in a future video, because I have some more coming up in the next couple weeks, as well as some Katana uh, tone examples for the same kind of things, like effects, different settings. So let me know what you guys think, and I will uh, talk to you in the next video. Thank you.